There are links to my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord down below. Today, I'm going to try to help you get better at ranked. Tip number one, play for the objective, not kills. Now, this may seem stupid that I'm actually saying this, but I see it all the time in ranked where someone will have the diffuser in a 3v whatever situation, whatever the situation may be. And instead of planting the diffuser, the person carrying the diffuser wants to go for the kills. Just know you have a higher percentage of winning the round if you play for the objective not kills. Always keep this tip in mind. Tip number two, understand operator gaps. What I mean by this is, if you have a Thermite, Thatcher, IQ, and a Zofia, your best bet in that situation is to bring some sort of soft destructor like a buck or a sledge. Just know that if your team ever needs an IQ or a Thermite or a Thatcher, anything that you absolutely need to win the round, then try to notice that. Switch your operator if you can to better your chances at winning that round. Tip number three, five stacking instead of solo queuing. If you can help it, try not to solo queue. But if you absolutely have to, I've already made a video on how to solo queue. There will be a link down in the description below, as well as a playlist to all my other tip videos if you guys are looking for some different topics to help you guys. Tip number four, bad utility placement. Now you might ask yourself, what do I mean by bad utility placement? Well, let's use barbed wire for an example. Let's say it's a naked piece of staircase. There's nothing on the stairs at all. Now, where do you think that barbed wire should go? The best place for the barbed wire to go is at the very bottom. And here's why. Let's say you put the barbed wire at the top. That allows the attacker to crouch walk or walk up all the way to your barbed wire and peek over the staircase. Now, if it's at the bottom, they would have to either smack the barb, break it, or they would have to walk through it. Either way, you would hear the sound cue notifying you that there's an enemy at the bottom of the staircase. Just be smart with your utility placement and your secondary gadget placement. It's a lot more important than you think. Don't just go around the map, putting down your utility and running off somewhere. Actually put thought and time into where your utility should go. Tip number five, use vertical play to your advantage. I'm gonna use the map consulate for an example. I can assume most people know what map consulate is. Now, if you've ever played consulate, you know that the garage bomb site is very advantageous to the defenders if you don't use use vertical plate to your advantage now if you do use vertical plate to your advantage and make the defenders rotate around the site while someone's outside breach that could be a few free kills just understand and learn the maps so you can use vertical plate to your advantage tip number six use your drone more often I'm not going to go too in-depth into this tip. I've already made a video on how to drone. There will be a link in the description. Make sure you check that out if, if you do want to take your droning to the next level. Tip number seven. This can apply to all ranked players. Now listen up here. Do not turn into a fucking ape in a 5vx situation. It's a lot easier if you run outside and get detected for the attacker to win that round and throw. Trust me, play this round smart, let your other teammates die, and you hold the site. I've seen it too many times where everyone gets giddy for the kill, and the guy's just up on the roof, and he's and your entire team is giving him free kills. Tip number nine, stop playing casual. I learned this off about a year and a half ago when I started getting into the game more seriously. If you stop playing casual now, you'll notice that your game sense will increase, your aim will increase, everything will increase. Because every single ranked match you play, you're playing against the rank that you're supposed to be at. Now if you play casual, you might play a diamond, a champion, or you might play all copper fives. You never really know. Casual doesn't benefit you for anything unless it's late at night and you don't really feel like sweating in ranked or you just want to fuck around with a few buddies in casual. Just know that if you truly want to get better at ranked, you have to play ranked. Tip number 10, warm up before playing ranked. Again, I will not go into depth on this tip i've already made two extensive videos on how to get amazing aim and how to warm up again there will be links in the description if you do want to get better at warming up tip number 11 don't sprint out of the spawn into the arms of a spawn peeker i've seen it too many times where someone will just run out of a spawn especially it being a thatcher a thermite or any important operator in order to win the round and they just die they don't check their windows they don't check their doors their walls for any punch holes bullet holes whatever it may be you always want a quick peek something just to make sure that it's closed so you can cross safely. Tip number 12, make accurate callouts. And there's a huge emphasis on accurate. For example, if you drone someone and then 20 seconds later, a teammate asks where that person was that you droned, they could be anywhere across the map at this point. So you want to say they were in that area. They were in that room. They were in that hallway. They were on that staircase. Be descriptive with your callouts. Information game is one of the most important things that comes to Siege. A lot of people think it's aim. A lot of people thinks it's something mechanical, but it's really not. Communicating and all five players on the team being on the same page will win you more rounds than you'll think. 
tip number 13, which can apply to tip 12, but it's a little bit different. And it's knowing and absorbing callouts. Now, tip 12 was on the giving end. Now this is the receiving end. Make sure that you, when you hear a call out, you actually hear it and comprehend it. And not only comprehend it, but absorb that information. Let's say you're in a 3v3 situation with 30 seconds left and you get the bomb down at 15 seconds. Now, at this point, two of your teammates are dead. Now you're in a 1v3 situation. Now the two teammates that are dead now have given call outs on where the people are at. So you know where two out of the three enemies are at. Now, if you absorb that information and actually know where they were last seen, then your, your chances to win that clutch situation are much higher because you're not just dry peeking something expecting someone to be there. If you actually understand and absorb the call out, it will help you out a lot more than you think. Tip number 14, adapt to your opponent. I have a great example for this. Let's say you're on Clubhouse, Capitao isn't banned, he keeps going to CC window every single round and you're only having a Jaeger play. Now, let's say you drop another operator for Womai. This is adapting to your enemy. They're using something to crutch on to win the round and then you counter them in that fashion so that way they have a harder time going around trying to win the round and complete their objective. Just remember what operators the enemy brings, what kind of playstyle they have, where they enter the building from first, and overall try to gather as much information you can to counter them. Now lastly, tip number 15, which is the most important tip on this list. Remember this tip if you do want to get better at ranked. This will make you better overall as a player a lot faster. Take every game loss or round loss as a learning experience. Now me personally, I started applying this to myself about eight months ago and it's excelled my learning process, my game sense, everything. It's made me a much better player. Now, the way that I look at this and how this tip is structured is even if you win a round or lose a game or lose a round, always think of ways that you could have played that round or game better in order to win the game or the round. There's always something you could have done better to increase your chances of winning that round. Just because you have a clutch situation or you're close to clutching or whatever it may be, always reflect on that and apply as many different perspectives as you can to better yourself as a player. This will excel your learning process, make you a better player much faster. Trust me on this tip, it worked for me and I know it can work for you. Now, that's all 15 tips. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video, possibly share it, possibly consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate all three. I stream on Twitch every single day. I would love to see you there. Maybe drop a follow, say what's up in chat. But other than that, my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord are down below in the description, as well as my complete tip video playlist. I hope I help you guys out in some form, and I will see you guys in the next video.